Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am Veer Sikand, a wildlife photographer based in Kenya. The Bush Shell series will take you through my story through the plains of Africa. Twende Safari. Hey guys, I'm here in the Opajata Conservancy and I am going to have a once in a lifetime opportunity. I am going to put the last two northern white rhinos to bed. Four northern white rhinos were brought to Opajata to help save the species. Two males and two females. Sunni, a male, passed away in 2014, and Sudan, who is the father to Najin, passed away in 2018. The two remaining rhinos are Sudan's daughter Najin and Sudan's granddaughter Fatu. I had the spectacular opportunity to walk Fatu and Najin and put them to bed at the end of their day grazing on the plains. There is another rhino in the enclosure. It is a southern white rhino named Taula who taught them how to be wild and sharpen their horns. This is because Najin and Fatu have lived in captivity all their lives and did not know how to do these things. I was very lucky to get some nice close-up shots of them. James, along with a whole crew of devoted rangers and keepers, work night and day to try to protect and care for these animals. Around the conservancy is a 24-7 anti-poaching unit and a canine unit. They're working round the clock to protect the rhinos and other species like elephants and lions from poachers. Unless these animals are protected from poachers and the trade of horns, ivory and bushmeat, the future generations will lose out on these precious creatures. The scientists have collected sperm from five of the northern white males before they died, and they are frozen them in a laboratory. As an experiment, they tried the process that they were going to do on the northern white rhinos on the southern white rhinos to see how it would work and so that it doesn't hurt the animals. If successful, they would do the same on the northern white rhinos. So in 2020, they went on with the procedure and collected 10 eggs in total from the two females. They recently collected 8 from Fatu and 2 from Najin, which have left to go to Europe. In Europe, they intend to combine the sperm and the ovum and create an embryo, which they will implant into the southern white rhino, who will be a surrogate mother. There are approximately 27,000 rhinos left in Africa. We have to protect them before they all come extinct and follow the same fate as the, these northern white rhinos have. We are fortunate that technology may actually save the species and repair the damage done by humans. Rhino horn poaching is the main threat that rhinos are facing as demand has risen in Asian countries, especially Vietnam. Rhino horn is absolutely no medical value. In fact, it is the same components as your hair and nails. As the available space for wildlife and rhinos is decreasing, rhino sanctuaries like Olpajeta, Nairobi National Park and Lake Nakuru are important for Kenya's rhino conservation. It was a great experience and I hope you learned a lot. Though, though it was exciting working with the last two northern white rhinos, it was sad as they're reaching the brink, brink of extinction. Cro we're crossing our fingers that the embryos work so we can reproduce more baby northern white rhinos. We have to protect the other endangered species so that they do not get to this point of endangeredness. Hope you enjoyed. This is Vera signing off from the Savannah.